Hi, my name is Karen Karan and I am Accessibility Program Manager for Google Play. You may be a single developer creating an app on your own. However, you may have hundreds, thousands or millions of users. Chances are many of your app's users won't interact with it in the same way that you do. This is because for some funds may be too small, even if you can see them just fine. For others, your graphics may not be clear enough, even if you took the time to draw them yourself. And yet, for others, your buttons may not be clickable, even if they are right there on the screen. How is this possible, you may ask? We are part of a connected world, and whether you build a productivity or an entertainment app, users from around the world will want to try it out to belong. Some of your users may be blind or low vision. Some may be deaf or hard of hearing. Some may have dexterity issues, and some may have dyslexia or be on the autism spectrum. Whatever their circumstances may be, you would not want to exclude them from using the app you've created, would you? So here are some examples of how you can make or break somebody's accessibility experience. Use accessibility labels, aka content descriptions, for all controls such as buttons, sliders, checkboxes, etc. Also, don't forget to label graphics and icons. See what difference it can make in someone's experience of using your app. And please, don't worry about all the talking you hear. People who use the option of hearing the content of your app use Android's built-in tools to do that. All you need to do is make sure your app is programmed correctly in order for the information to be picked up by their tool. Button. 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 Add article accessibility to favorites. Share article accessibility. Article menu opens dialog. Add transcripts or closed captions to your video content. This ensures that uh, people who cannot hear can appreciate what you've created. Please see what a difference it makes. In the captioned video, we can better understand the sports game viewer's annoyance at being interrupted. The off-camera phone keeps on ringing. Choose larger touch target sizes when you create your app's user interface. You may be tempted to cram as many buttons, clickable images, links, etc. on one screen. But what's the point of doing that if your users may have trouble tapping on them? In the video, we simulated someone's shaking hand and used the smaller and then the larger touch targets to make it easier to select items from the list. In an effort to 
get your app out the door quickly, you may decide to forego the final content review of your app, but it may pay off to do so. You know your app very well. You may even see it in your dreams, but your users do not. So it's important to provide a consistent user interface and clear instructions on how to use your app or complete the awesome user journey you've dreamt up and created. Take a look at the following example. Instructions that are unclear or cumbersome are a problem for all users, not just for those with a learning disability. More time is required to comprehend the text and there's a higher chance of misinterpretation. On this screen, you have several options. 1. To get a sense of how easier to read instructions might improve user experience, press the accessible switch at the top of the screen 2. To listen to the content of this screen, press play. Easy to understand instructions help everyone. On this screen, you can do the following. 1. Press the accessible switch at the top of the screen to view harder to read instructions 2. Press the play button to hear the text being read out loud. To personally experience the user stories featured in this video, please download the Experience Accessibility app from GitHub. https colon slash slash github.com slash google slash experience dash accessibility. 